Hey guys, I wanted to create this short video on a question that someone had. Do the type of carbs matter on keto? As long as you keep your carbs within 20 to 50 grams, does it really matter what type of carbs you consume? And the answer is absolutely yes. The, what's more important is to do the low glycemic carbs. And if you're not sure what low glycemic means, I put a link down below to get more data on that. So the GI or glycemic index is a scale of all these carbohydrates and the effect that it has on blood sugars. So the higher numbers spike blood sugars more than the lower numbers. And uh, at 100, you have glucose. But there are things that are above 100, like, for example, maltodextrin. Okay, that's like between 106 and 136. It's like way up there. So it does matter the quality or the, the type of carb that you consume on a keto plan. So let's say, for example, you're doing 20 grams of carbs per day. But those carbs are you know, sugar or high fructose corn syrup, maltodextrin, rice puffs, potato chips, for example, or bread, or white bread, you'd be much better off consuming more carbs, berry, vegetable carbohydrates, and there's some other ones that are low on the glycemic index. So you want to get that chart and study it and stay on the low end because if you're consuming even smaller amounts of carbs, but they have a stronger effect on blood sugars, it will not only throw up your blood sugars and prevent you from staying in ketosis, but the next day you're going to be starving for carbs. So recently someone gave me a protein bar, which was keto or so-called keto friendly. And the problem is the, I couldn't see the ingredients because the wrapper was stuck uh, to itself. So I couldn't see underneath it. So I said, oh, it's keto friendly. It's going to be fine. So I consumed it. And the next day I was so hungry in the morning. And then I had to go online and I found out the ingredients. So the type of carbs were higher in the glycemic index. And so it created this spike in blood sugar and then a drop and then the hunger the next day. So if you're trying to do intermittent fasting and you have these hidden sugars, uh, it's going to make it really hard. So the type of carbs do matter. Stick with the low glycemic. And if you're trying to lose weight, uh, you can stay with the higher amount of carbs uh, as long as they're the right carbs. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. So I want to thank you for being here and watching my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so so you can stay informed of future videos.